Hi guys, as you can see on the screen, just about to jump into some of the new game Scum. Uh, I'm going to be playing some single player, I don't really know much to expect of this game. Uh, I did just go ahead and test the first couple of minutes just to see uh, how it ran on my computer and how it was filming and things like that. So I do have a slight idea what it's going to be like, uh, but that being said, I haven't played much so I don't know how hard it's going to be, how easy it's going to be. So I guess we just jump straight in. Just going to jump into some ca uh, character customization now. And as you can see, um, you have a lot of options to choose from, so we'll see what it's like. Just change this name here to Connor Plays. Now I'll do. Uh, we go with age 21, which is actually my age, and it seems like moving the uh, changing the age sign actually changes the um, skill points that you get. So as you can see, um, if you go below 30, you get less strength and if you go and more dexterity and if you go above 30 you get more conditioning and oh so stuff like that and um, so basically different attributes you'll get more or less depending on which age you choose um, I don't really know how much the different attributes affect the game at the minute so I, I guess I'll just go with my age because why not <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go with slightly muscular and not fat nor thin um, so it seems that changes how many attribute points you get to. So yeah, I think we'll go with muscular, but not fat or thin, because I don't want to be too much to one side and sort of have no dexterity or have no strength or have no constitution or, or intelligence for that matter. Um, so we just go ahead and choose our head type now. Um, that first one actually looks like the fellow to prison break, but um, looks a bit of a creepy one. Um, number two just looks like a tan version, but a bit more skinny. Or oh, sorry, a bit of more of a small head, should I say? Um, he just looks scared, and he looks actually okay. So I think the fourth or the first we'll go with. I think we we'll go with the first though. Um, tattoos on, off, uh, I think we'll go with off for this one. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and click next. Um, so it seems like you get strength, condition, dexterity, intelligence, and then skill points for each distribution. And I'm gonna imagine that effect, uh, sorry, upping up in these or lowering these will, yeah, cost them points. So I think for boxing, we don't really want much into it, I'd say minimal because I don't really plan on punching zombies for very, very long anyway. And uh, for rifles, I think we'd go quite high just purely because in survival games, normally you get to end game and you have you know, your sniper rifles, your auto rifles, things like that. So we get that quite high. Melee weapons, I'd imagine you probably start off with a melee weapon um, because you do tend to in survival games. Um, and handguns we'll get um, I'd say about there and we'll probably match that with melee weapons as well and um, we'll go to basic in boxing as well because why not yeah we'll go a bit more in melee weapons um, so yeah I think that's the loadout I'm going to go with for strength skills and conditioning skills I think we'll go with we'll probably just even these out because you want to be able to run fast but also have endurance while, while running I suppose so yeah, we just get them about even. Ah, oh, that'll do. I don't imagine them few points matter that much. Uh, stealth, this is the only one we can pick in dexterity, so we just max that. Awareness, um, we just get that to basic sniping. Uh, I'm quite the sniper in games, so I quite like standing back and being able to kill things from far, you know, get the, the good headshots and stuff, so I think I'll go for that. And survival, I want. Um, probably the highest out of all of them just because I want to be able to survive and that's the aim of the game and things like that. Oh no, it seems I can't pick Connor play. Oh, well, it called me last character. Um, last character Connor plays, so that must be why it says that. Uh, we're going to Connor plays one. Great. Uh, and as you can see, it gives you a little overview of your character here. Uh, we just go ahead and click OK and I'll see you when we get into the game. Right guys, so as you can see it just spawned me in, um, 
it, it looks like it's put me in the middle of nowhere, to be honest. It's a completely different place than it put me on the last little goal, which I had a few minutes off. Um, so the basics, so you move around with obviously W, A, S, and D, and you press F to search things, and left click, right click to punch and block. Um, I'm guessing now we just run around, collect resources, see what we can find, see if there's any interesting, you know, points of interest around. So I see you can't really interact with the um, rocks and rocks and trees and things like that. I know you can search bushes, but um, I think that's about it for right now. I think you need to find your first structure. Right, okay, so I've just been running around here and I was thinking that how could... I possibly tell whether I'm going to the edge of the map, the middle of the map, towards a structure, anything. So uh, I just uh, found a way to bring up the map, and as you can see, that little blue thing that's spinning around there, that's me, and all these little structures or points of interest on the map, obviously the little orange bits or, you know, the blue bits would be the legs, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I think we'll head to that little structure or collection of structures near B1 and see whether we can find that anything interesting up that way. So uh, I'll head up there and if I find anything interesting, I'll um, catch back up with you. Um, not on too much going on so far. Uh, I think we'll go out into this little open plane, see if there's anything here worth uh, looking into. Maybe some enemies, maybe some zombies. Oh, as you can see, there seems to be a big point of interest up there. Um, seems to be swarming with zombies though to be honest so don't know how to avoid that one um, let's see if there's any others around no it doesn't quite seem like there's any others around I think we'll he rather than head into them five, four or five buildings up there with them three four zombies can I see around there and we'll head up to this one up here and hope there's a bit, a few less up there things I'm looking for in here probably loot, weapons, you know resources Maybe something to eat and drink, maybe. Um, because I'm guessing taking on not them four zombies, which I'm about to do in a minute, will be uh, pretty tiring and take some hunger and hydration off me. Let's just scope this building out, make sure nothing's going to jump out on me and surprise me. No, so it doesn't seem like there's anything in there for the time being. So I have to open. Yeah, let's just run around here. Oh, so you have to say it's a box of the really. No items found, and obviously that one's open, and I can tell that one's in there. And um, just say see these little barrels as well? Yes, you do. Um, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing again. Oh, now that's quite interesting. Driving gloves, so now where you equip them, or how you equip them. Oh, I see you just equip them there. Uh, used more for the looks than functionality in driving. Still can be useful in cold weather. Oh, so I'm guessing they keep you a little bit warm, but obviously they're not great. Um, let's look around some more, see if there's anything anything else in here. So it seems like that's a door to get out of it, which is somewhere I don't want to go. So we'll look up here. Climb the ladder with F. And we'll have a look in these little storage boxes, so hopefully there's something up here that I can use to take on all them zombies. Ooh, what's this? A quick raincoat. Not bad, I'm guessing that keeps me um, keeps me warm. And what's this? Um, almonds. Alright, oh, okay, so guessing they're just edibles. Oh, the rain. Uh, as you can see here from the inventory screen as well, um, the different types of clothing you wear have different inventory slots. Like that raincoat has two, the top only has one, and the pants have two. I'm guessing it just depends on the quality of the item you sort of have, that how many, you know, equipment slots it's got. So I can only pick up that amount of items that, you know, I've got slots available to me. And um, as you can see, it says vicinity there, so that ev everything should come up there. That is around me, hopefully. Um, pretty similar to the mechanic in PUBG, where it sort of tells you everything that's lingering on around you. So just looking around the head, doesn't really seem to be anything else, which is pretty disappointing to be honest, because now I'm going to have to go and take on all them, uh, all them zombies by hand, I suppose. So uh, I think we'll go this way. And still doesn't seem to be nothing out here at all. 
So I suppose we'll head down to here. Now I don't know how hard or easy it is to kill these zombies, especially by hand, so I suppose we'll just uh, jump into it and see. Probably shouldn't, I'm probably going to get killed here, but might surprise myself. Let's see how far their um, lock-on distance is. Then get this close before he notices me. This close, this close. Ah, just running for the punch now. Oh, so you just add a little swing for me there. Oh, there's a bit of delay um, when you press the punch button. Um, obviously it's intentional because obviously you don't want him to punch straight away. It's part of the whole gameplay mechanic, and as you can see, it's quite fast as well. The punch kind of stuns him a little bit, but not enough to be able to, you know, run away from him or you know go and hide somewhere or. Or anything for that matter. So I suppose I'll just go in for a few. Oh, seems to be getting me. There we go. Get a little punch in. And finally, he's dead. Yeah, so we just search him and see if he's got anything on him. Obviously, we know he hasn't got any weapons or anything. Oh, so this item just drop on the floor, and I'm guessing you open your inventory screen to be able to see. Yeah, he's got inmate shorts and inmate pants, which I don't want because I've got them on anyway. Um, so I guess we just head into here. Hopefully none of the others will spot me. And I'll be able to get into one of these buildings and get some sort of weapon without any of them noticing. Um, so if we go F to open that. Nothing in there. Hope there's nothing in here. I didn't really check before walking actually. Um, no, seems like the coast is clear. I think... Oh, they're like there. No items in their ones. I'm guessing they're all the same, but I'm not too sure. No, no items found. Um, so just start around this way. No items again. Guessing it's going to be no items for pretty much most of these. Might find something of use. Oh, what's that? Piece of rubber. I suppose we'll keep it. Why not? Got nothing better to use that slot for. Take paper. Doesn't really seem like I can do much with the piece of paper, but. Ooh, zombie over there. It's just building's not looking too great so far. I can't really see anything of use. And um, let's search these cupboards, see if I find any food, maybe? That seems to be the only thing I'm gonna find in here. Yeah, rags. No, oh, thank you. Hi, so uh, we can actually just cut out there. All I've done really is search that little cupboard that went through here and could there have uh, some zombie noises. So around here, and I've actually just killed this zombie. As you can see, I've just punched him to there. Um, and he's just dropped this little jersey. I don't really think I'm going to equip that. It just looks like a bit of a battered up football shirt, to be honest. Um, and as you can see in the bottom, I've not ate them almonds, so I've just one to eat them. And I'm guessing I've got to stand around while I eat them. Uh, that zombie actually got a good few hits in on me. Um, a lot more than I would have probably liked them to have. I think I'll eat more of them because hopefully they up your health. I don't really know. Um, don't really see what instant effect they had. I don't know whether they actually did have any effect. Uh, as you can see from the little character in the bottom corner, I've actually got an injury to uh, my right wrist. So uh, I don't know how you go about healing that, but I suppose we'll find out, will we? Hi there guys, so thanks for watching, um, I've just came to edit this video and I've realised that the footage, the gameplay footage that I've got is a little bit too long so I'm going to cut it here and I've got another episode coming in the next two days. Um, I'm going to start uploading every other day so you'll see a video out today which is Wednesday and then you'll have another one Friday, another one Sunday and so on and so on. So I'm going to stick to that sort of schedule for now, um, I've got about three or four of these videos lined up um, to be released so you know I've got videos ready there and um, hope you enjoyed this video anyway and um, hope I had enough um, hope you enjoyed this video anyway hope I had enough information for you uh, it was a bit of character customization me initial thoughts and you know a bit of the action and looting so uh, thanks for watching anyway bye